So many of you are making the process of getting dressed in the morning so much harder than it needs to be. It's 2023, you do not need to be doing this every day just from your head. This is the age of technology and there are so many incredible apps out there that are designed to make this process easier. Finding your personal style does not need to be such a hassle and executing it every day is actually possible. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a style consultant and on this channel we find our style by finding ourselves. In this video I'm going to break down the best apps for the following things. Putting together outfits, finding style inspiration, curating, so like curating your wardrobe, curating your style, shopping tools, apps for shopping, and miscellaneous. So let's begin with the best apps for putting together your outfits and having a digital online wardrobe. I have actually made an entire video about this topic where I recorded my outfits for 90 days using these apps and you can watch that video here if you want to learn about these in a lot more depth. But the two apps that I recommend for this are Open Wardrobe and Wearing. I've also heard of Lookbook. Um, I've not used it so I can't give my personal recommendation, but both of these apps, Open Wardrobe and Wearing, are particularly good. Basically, you upload all the clothes in your wardrobe, which is a little bit of a drag, but once you've spent like an evening taking pictures of everything and labeling everything, it will make your life so much easier. It's one of those be high maintenance to be low maintenance for the rest of forever kind of things. So once you have all of your clothes there, you can put outfits together, you can track what you wear, you can see the statistics of your wardrobe, and I think it's amazing. I would also recommend for this, it's not an app, but I'm gonna recommend it anyway, Blonde, Broke, and Bougie. She's on TikTok. She has created an amazing set of Google Sheets, which I said in my last video that I wanted to use. I have since used, and they are really, really good, so I recommend them, and I'll put the link in the description. Finding inspiration, I'm gonna start with the obvious one, and then I'm gonna get into some you might not have heard of. So Pinterest, if you want to grips with finding inspiration for your style, learning to expand your comfort zone a little bit, Pinterest is an amazing place to start. There's so many different types of style on there and I think getting used to the lingo is a really great way to kind of expand your fashion vocabulary and know the kinds of things you're looking for. So on Pinterest, if you don't know, you can create different mood boards of inspiration so you can separate your different influences and my Pinterest is insane. My style board has um, thousands and thousands of pins in it. So if you wanna go and follow me, that link will also be in the description. The second app for finding inspiration is Vogue Runway. I stumbled upon this last year sometime and it's essentially Pinterest but with photos from the runway. So if you want to learn about fashion, about the current season of trends, um, what's actually appearing on the runway by certain designers and kind of become more familiar with that, this is an amazing app to do that. And you can learn what you like from like the high end of fashion and look at a really aspirational kind of perspective. The next app is one for all the people out there who used to use Polyvore in the 2010s. I was such a Polyvore girly, but to my understanding, it doesn't exist anymore. But Dressed is a really cool alternative. It's a fashion game. So basically you can put outfits together using like essentially lots of designer clothes and they have different like challenges and people on the app vote for what, how good they think your outfit is basically. And this is really great for learning how to put pieces together, how to source pieces, and just a really great opportunity to practice with clothes that you probably don't own. Kind of visualize putting certain silhouettes, certain colors, certain patterns together. I think it's really great practice for that. Lemon 8 is a new app, and if you enjoy Pinterest, I think you'll really like Lemon 8 if you're that kind of Instagram Pinterest creator or you kind of follow that, depending on what perspective you're coming to this with. I've dabbled with it a little bit. I think it's really fun. Essentially, they have templates. It's, it's a really hard thing to describe unless you use it. It's like fashion inspiration incorporated with tips and tricks. There's lots of like arrow symbols and labels and titles and it's very like magazine editorial. I really recommend checking it out. It's made by the same people who made TikTok. So I think it has big potential. So curating your style and 
bringing all that inspiration that we've just done together into one place. So the first I recommend for this is Notion. I've used Notion for lots of things. It's essentially my home base for my entire life. But within that, I have a style section and mine's called Style Research because obviously I have this channel, but yours would probably just be called Style. Notion is amazing because you can have lots of different databases. So you can view all the information you've stored in different ways. So you can view it as a gallery, as different pages, as tables. I have mine set out as a gallery and I have things like all the different sources of inspiration in different pages so that I can click on them and sort them out. For a long time my style page on Notion had things like timelines of my best and worst haircuts so that when I was making my next decision um, I could just look at that and see what my hair looked like at its worst in that state and decide whether or not I actually wanted to do that. So that was quite a fun thing I little did. I also used to have all my style inspirations on there. So like every person in a TV show or celebrity that I really looked up to, I'd have kind of pick my favorite outfits and put them in Notion. So on Pinterest, it's like expanding. The curating section is like narrowing down. So as well as Notion, I really like to use Milanote. This is quite a cool app I've discovered in the last few months and you can make kind of like vision boards, like little mood boards so you can really pick things out and it's not just photographs so you can pin websites onto your board, you can pin different colours, text, so it's more like a visual layout, kind of like a scrapbook. I think it's really really cool. And I've used this for example my Xyla colours, um, I made a big board kind of visualising that experiment. Shopping tools, so I'll come on to shopping later, so actual places to go shopping, but these are some interesting tools to help you shop online. So the first is Style DNA. I would be cautious of their kibby kind of section where it's like romantic, dramatic, etc. Don't recommend that. But their colour season element is actually really, really fun. I would take it with a huge pinch of salt, but it analyses your facial features and gives you your colour season. It is very unlikely to be accurate. No offence, Style DNA, you've done a great job, but um, doing anything like having an app analyze your colors is never gonna quite be as good as a person doing it. But once it's done that, it gives you clothing recommendations within your season of clothes that are on the internet. So that's really, really cool. And I think that's the best feature it has. Stitch Fix is an app I've been trialing recently. I actually did a video on it. This is really fun. You pay 10 pounds and a stylist, whether that's a real stylist or some kind of artificial intelligence, picks some clothes for you based on a quiz that you take and then it sends them. So it's a really cool mystery box kind of idea. Shop Style is one of my favorites for online shopping recently. Basically it takes all of the online shopping websites that are out there and keeps them all in one place. So for example, you could search leopard print coat and you could see all the leopard print coats that are out there on like the main online shopping websites like Whistles, House of Fraser, ASOS, anywhere you shop online and it will give you all of the examples. So I think that's an incredible tool and you can also do things like following your favorite brand, seeing what's new. It will tell you when there's a sale in some of your favorite brands where you like to shop. So shopping for clothes, this is basically just a sustainable shopping section. This is where I like to buy my clothes. If you kind of shop online, you'll already know all of these. But Depop, I've been buying so much off Depop recently. Not loads, like I've, I've replaced a lot of my shopping with Depop shopping recently. Like this amazing bag that's in the background. I think using Depop is an amazing way to find unique things. Depop is also really great because it's got a really young audience on there so if you're into like TikTok aesthetics you can search something like ballet core and there'll be loads of relevant items to you. So I think if you're like a young person and you're kind of into the latest trends, you know the latest buzzwords, Depop is a really great way to shop that way and you find things that are really accurate to your style and you are buying secondhand so it's really really great. Vestia Collective is a really great second-hand designer website. If you shop online, you probably know about Vestia Collective, but I didn't until last year. So if you want to get like some kind of second-hand Chanel bag or something, or even less than that, like a Chloe bag, it's just a really great place to shop second-hand. Pretty much everything they have on there is verified by Vestia. So you can be really sure that what you're getting is a good deal. eBay, very similar thing. I think people had kind of thought that eBay was no longer relevant. I definitely think it is. I've bought a few things off eBay this year. I would definitely recommend it. There's also lots on TikTok about how to shop using eBay and get really good deals. So I would not dismiss it as a place to go secondhand shopping. So miscellaneous, these are the ones where I weren't really sure where to put them. 
The Pantone app is really cool because you can upload a photo of something you're inspired by and it will give you a colour palette based on the colours in that photo rather than you like going in and picking the colours. So that's pretty cool. And FaceApp is also really great, not for like retouching your body or anything, not really into that. But FaceApp is really good for trying on different hairstyles. There's actually been a trend of this on TikTok recently, but I was doing this like last year and you can see what you might look like with blonde hair if your hair was darker, red hair. So before you dye your hair, it's like the best app out there for getting a visual representation of what that might look like. It's very, very good. So those are my recommendations of apps for all the fashion lovers out there. If you've enjoyed this video, I really think you will enjoy my playlist tech club which is essentially all the fashion tech related videos that i make and there's going to be lots more in the future so make sure to subscribe if you want my help finding your body type essence color season personal style make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com and the link is in the description and i can help you out thank you so much for watching i will see you next time